Hello and welcome back. I haven't been filming in a while because I was first finishing up school, second got a promotion at work so that's exciting, um, third um, just life in general got a little busy so yeah sorry about that but I'm back now and I'm going to be filming tons more because I really miss filming and I'd like to get back on into it so I've got a couple of videos planned so I'm really excited about that so if you're excited about that too then you should like subscribe to my channel because then you'll get informed when I post new stuff so why wouldn't you want to so yeah if you if you haven't already then subscribe to my channel I'd really appreciate it a lot and today I have a really exciting video for you because I have been treating myself a little bit more often than usual lately um, to some more high-end products. So I have a, a fairly decent sized haul, which is major the majority of it is from Sephora. So I am going to show you my beauty haul, which I have quite a decent sized bag of stuff. Let's just jump right on into the bag, well, why don't we? So the first thing that I bought was something that I saw on the Sephora website and I was like, wow, I need that in my life. I don't care how much money it costs, I need it in my life. And literally I think the next day I went out and bought it. <laughs> and that is the Bite Cosmetics Watercolor Lip Gloss Library, which first of all, I absolutely love watercolors and I absolutely love lip products, if you haven't already noticed. So this was just kind of a must-have. So it has 12 lip glosses in varying shades from like pastels to more darker berry tone colors, which I have already used um, mostly the um, pastel colors, which are really, really nice. They're fairly sheer, but also very, um, give a nice shine to your lips. And the berry ones are very, very nice as well. I've used a couple of them. Um, I think I used uh, this one here and this one. And they're very nice because they give you a nice tint, but it's not super like bam in your face um, color. So it's not really intense, but it's nice if you just want a little bit of a tint of a color. So I'll let you know more when I've used a little for a little bit longer, but I'm really excited about that. Next stuff that I got is from the Body Shop, and I have a couple of things here. So first of all, some skincare products. So the first one is the Vitamin C Glow Boosting Moisturizer, which this one, um, it has the Camu Camu Berry in it, which apparently has 60 times more vitamin C than an orange, so that's really, really good for bringing out the glow in your skin. Um, so I was really stoked about that. It smells amazing. And I've used it for a couple days, and it already feels super nice on your skin, super moisturizing and just really, really nice and light, refreshing going into the spring, summer months. So that's a good, good one right there. Next is the Vitamin E Eyes Cube, which this one is like a, a, a twist up stick that you put underneath your eyes. So in the morning, it's gonna help um, your dark circles and puffiness. Um, it does have a bit of a shimmer as well. So it just brings some like light reflecting particles under your eye, which is nice. I've used it a couple times. I can't say I've noticed a huge difference, but it does feel really nice under your eyes, so I'll keep trying it out. And the last three things I got from there are eyeliners. So the first two are the Matte Kajal eyeliners. So I got the black one and the white one, and I'll just give you some swatches here. These are nice and creamy. And lately I've been liking doing the look where I do the black and then I do white over top, um, just like slightly above the black so you see both lines. I've been really liking that kind of monochromatic look lately. And the last eyeliner go I got is the Bold Oversized Felt Eyeliner, which this is amazing. This is like my new favorite eyeliner right now. Um, 
Usually I go for liquid eyeliners, and this one technically is a liquid eyeliner, just in like a marker felt pen kind of format rather than a brush. And as you can see, it's very pigmented, very black, and it's very easy to apply. Um, I wasn't too sure about the, the felt tip, but it's actually really easy, so I'm, I've been happy with that so far. I've been wanting to get more into contouring lately, so I've been doing a lot of research on contouring palettes, products, um, what's going to be best for like beginners, but also gives you a good range of colors. So I decided to go with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, which in the shade Light, um, which comes with six contouring shades which I was looking for one that had some more cool tone browns because I find that bronzers on me, they tend to be a little bit orange and then that's not really what I'm looking for for contouring and it just looks like my face is dirty. So I had a lot of trouble um, finding a color that would be good for actually making shadows rather than just dirty spots on my face. Um, so, so far I've used it a couple times. I really like this color, which is the color Fawn. And this one here um, is Havana, I believe, Havana, however you say that. Um, and this one is also really nice. And the highlighting shades are great. I haven't used them too much, too, too much yet, but I've heard very great things. So I'm really excited to use this more into the summer and get some more chiseled, chiseled face. I need me, need me some chiseled face. And the last trip to Sephora that I've had in the recent weeks, um, this was also something I found on the website. I've been looking for more um, perfumes, like fragrances, um, especially more like fresh light fragrances that I can wear like in the summer and just different things. Um, and I spotted the Clean Summer Perfume Layering Trio which immediately intrigued me just from the packaging and the colors and the ombre bottle of this one right here. I really like packaging of things. So this one comes with the Clean Summer Escape, Clean Summer Sun, and Clean Summer Sailing. So I'll just pull them out and try and describe the fragrances to you. So the Summer Escape This one's like a bit more on the fruity side, I would say. Yeah, it's definitely kind of like melon in there. Nice light melon, I think some like sea salts. It's really nice fresh. Next is the Summer Sun, which I am obsessed with this bottle. It is just so gorgeous. So beautiful. And this one. This one is definitely a stronger scent. Sprayed a little bit too much there on my arm. You know, I'm just gonna pull up the Sephora website and see what their explanations of the fragrances are because I'm really bad at this. Okay, so for this one, it says, clean summer sun captures the essence of an endless summer day. The fragrance evokes the sparking, fruity freshness of a golden sun-swept breeze. A blend of woody musks in the base shines through, capturing the purifying warmth of sunlit sky. Yeah, I can get that. Yeah, there's definitely um, some fruity, um, immediately see you smell fruit, and then there's some more woody undertones. It does feel like a summer evening, I would say, which is, the bottle reminds me of a sunset, so that sound, that looks uh, appropriate. I'm going back to the summer escape. Their explanation of it is, it instantly transports you to the perfect beach retreat with this light summer seaside scent. Clean summer escape is inspired by the relaxed freedom of a sun-kissed skin, cloudless sky, and endless sea. A pure citrusy fragrance, it opens with succulent notes of crisp bergamot and mandarin orange and intertwines delicate layers of water lily, beach grass, and white sand. And then finally is Clean Summer Sailing. And this one says it is a fresh aquatic fragrance that conjures the salt water wind during an afternoon sail. Perfumer Celine Burrell was inspired by a sunset sail on the open ocean in summertime. 
She wanted to capture the excitement of sailing to unknown places as the fresh, salty breeze caresses your face with a mist of seawater and the warmth of the sun gently kissing your skin. So let's give this one a spritz. Yeah, this one you can definitely smell like the like the waves, the sea, the nice like seaside air. It's not really fruity like the other two, but it's really nice and fresh. Feels like a day at the beach, which I absolutely love. I love the beach so much. So I'm really happy with those three fragrances and I'm super excited to like mix and match them throughout the summer and I'm sure I will get a lot of use out of these. And last but not least, this I found as I was paying for the Clean Trio. Um, it was just sitting at the counter um, at Sephora and I asked the lady, I was like, oh, how much is this? And she told me and I was like, yeah, I'll take it. Um, so that is the Tarte High Performance Naturals Minis set. And it has the Energy Cheek Stain and Lip Tint. And these are something I've been wanting to try for a while now. They are the Skin Intuitive um, uh, tint and stain so they actually adjust to your skin tone like the pH levels in your skin so it's gonna be a slightly different color on everybody so I found that really really cool um, I've been wanting to try the lip one for a long time but I believe it's like $25 or something and I wasn't um, totally convinced if I was gonna like it or not so I didn't want to shell out that much that amount of money so when I saw this little set um, I was like, yep, buying it, gonna get it, and I did. So it comes with the, so the cheek stain, and the packaging is just gorgeous. I really like it. And I'll just give you a little swatch. So it does come out fairly pink at first, and then it will adjust to the skin after a little bit and then there's the lip tint and this one comes out more sheer at first which is a nice shine but the color does come out after a while I'm actually wearing both of these right now so I have the lip tint on my lips and a little bit of the cheek stain on my cheeks just blended in with my finger and that is the end of my um, haul, random haul of impulse buys, basically. Um, so let me know if you've tried out any of these products. I'd really like to know what you think of them. And I'm really excited to try them. And I'll definitely let you know how I get on with them. And yeah, so look forward to more videos posted on this channel coming soon. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a fantastic day.